walk around with my 2017 Nissan 370Z. It's a, a base model one and it's dark blue metallic. As you can see, it's got the black wheels. And yeah, we'll start by showing you the inside first. All right, so starting with the interior, we got standard 370 stuff. It hasn't really changed since it's been released really just slight revisions over the years this is what your door controls look like vent door handle it's got like a red reflector at the bottom you have your Z brand kick panel info the car tire stuff um, the seat it's got these manual adjusters here for height and angle uh, to reach the pedals and stuff better you sit inside you got over here, this is where you put in your key fob. Uh, that's to just hold it while you're driving. Trash control off button. You got your fuel gauge, which is represented by red LED dots. And then your coolant temperature is the same right underneath of it. And that display shows you anything from your MPG, your miles, trip info, whatever have you. Uh, and then you got your tachometer right in the center front and center for for you to see super easily because this is more of like a driver's car and it's more important because mine is a manual version uh, you got your speedometer 0 to 180 and then your three gauges that look pretty nice uh, it's all angled towards you really like it you have your oil temperature right here you got your voltage for your battery and then you have a time gauge um not really sure why they put that in there i'm not interested in knowing the time or the battery voltage to be honest so i'll be changing those before too long you got a glove compartment in here i have a mask shout out covid um yeah it's pretty much all it's in there. um here's the stock radio you have a push to start your ac controls uh, mine's the base, so I have the hazard button right here. Right here, you would have a uh, rev match button. So when you enable that, if you have that option, um, I believe there's paddles behind the steering wheel that you would tap to rev match when you uh, downshift your gears. And then right here, you have your e-brake. Pretty standard. Feels decent. It's made out of rubber, so it's not leather or anything super nice. Uh, six speed manual uh, One two all the way to six and then you push down and over back for reverse um, And here you have a tiny little center console Inside you have a 12 volt car plug-in the round one That pretty much every car has had for a long time and then you have a USB port for the radio and also charging and then you have an auxiliary port to plug in a uh, headphone jack if your phone still has one of those so that's it right there coming back out a standard seat belt plastic that holds your seat belt behind the seat this is what mine looks like i think if you get the bose audio system it's gonna look a bit different you might have a subwoofer back here not entirely sure and there's that crossbar. I believe that's just for more rigidity, taking it on the track and stuff. Uh, that's about it for right there. Come around to the trunk, pop it open, see what that looks like. Uh, so you can see what I'm gonna be doing uh, later on today, is installing a full sound system. Uh, yeah, it's not a whole lot of room. You could probably fit one or two duffel bags in a backpack, some small boxes, stuff. Not a whole lot of storage room. Definitely not what this car's trunk suit is. Um, you got the dual exhaust back here. You have this light, I believe, that turns on, I think when you reverse, not entirely sure. Um, there's the badge, third brake light, the spoiler that comes stock on some of them. Um, gas cap. Black wheels, silver door handles. I really like this car color. I'm gonna try to show it off to you as best as I can. So I bought this from CarMax, and in my opinion, 
they're not very good at maintaining paint conditions so a lot of the cars you buy from there are pretty scratched up but i'm gonna try to give you a quick look at this color so if you guys know what lightning blue from ford is i had a mustang in that exact color this is a few shades darker but when the sun hits it um, it really does pop so coming inside passenger room uh floor mat there's the access vent so the air pushes behind the dash comes through here that's what this rubber boot is on car doors on the inside of the jam that's to get air from here to come out of this vent you didn't know door handle lock mechanism got a lock button over here window the door panel is super soft cloth this upper piece is soft touch uh, vinyl i believe um, here's passenger seat basically the same as the driver's seat except you're not really gonna have controls here to adjust it all you're gonna have is that slider lever there this will show you behind the passenger seat really quick okay so that's all the room that's behind this seat and you usually just take it up by moving the seat back you have this little cubby to hold some things i have no idea what you would put there this is like a document holder um, for whenever you get pulled over for going too fast. Um, I do not believe that I have a speaker in this because I just have the base uh, model. So I don't think there's a sound system that incorporates those vents at all. But one thing to note with my car specifically, uh, I didn't realize this till recently. This has like a little crack in it, which kind of sucks, but not a huge deal. Glove box right here. I have that front paper plate manual. Not a whole lot of room in this car. Um, so I'm going to give this cup holder rating with the Grande Starbucks. I'm going to give this an 11 out of 10. It just fits so solid. I love this cup holder. It's amazing. Uh, these buttons would be used for other electronic uh, options that I don't have specifically. I'm not too worried about it. Not sure what they are in different cars. But uh, yeah, that's about it for the interior. All right, I'm gonna come in. I'm gonna pop the hood for you guys. So this is what under the hood looks like. I believe my car's pretty clean under the hood. Show you a quick overview, what everything looks like. Give you a good idea. You get the front strut tower brace. Uh, under here you have brake fluid. And if you have the manual, which I have, you're gonna have the reservoir for the clutch. This is basically what it looks like. Here's the battery access. Piece. Yep, I'm gonna close the hood now and then I'll start it and give you some stock exhaust sounds. Okay, so with the manual car, you're just gonna push in the clutch pedal. The light's gonna come on on this push button. There you go. All right guys, that's all I have for you today. Uh, if you wanna see me install some Sparco race seats, a Sparco quick release steering wheel, a works hub to attach the quick release steering wheel to, be doing a full audio system, 
going to be tinting it. I'm going to be installing the NVIDIA Gemini catback exhaust. And yeah, tons of mods to come. So stay tuned, subscribe, like.